Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. Other than cashing flies and talking about how things are perfect at the ports and perfect in the city and Bridgetown, everything is great and perfect. And then he disappears. Corey Lane would disappear. You don't see him. He is looking thinner sometimes. Then he blows back up and looks normal. Then he goes back down again. And then he appears and says, how dare you not make this situation perfect for me? How dare you make me feel as though that I can't have things in a perfect state? He is in your paper talking about the citizens who ran down that suspect and unalived him. He is the one that talks about that peace program where he puts like criminals not like a little bitty criminal not a little petty criminal not a, a criminal that just like was hungry and took some food no he puts hardened brutal bobs a brutal bobs type criminals in charge of the peace program and give them access to money and then the money goes missing and it's all perfect and how dare you not give a criminal like brutal bob a second chance and all the brutal bobs are running things in bar business and it's perfect and here he is here he is catching flies talking about condemning citizens which are the same citizens he will give a job to after they go up to the hotel in saint philip when they get out he will give them a job give them access to money give them the power to run things in Barbados and then he has talk he comes into your newspaper talking so the only thing that he's concerned about is his perfect state of things in Barbados and it's not so perfect because people are doing what they usually do and criminals are going to be criminals and recidivists are going to be recidivists you know it, it's just going to go on and on and on and on until Mia Motley takes him out of his post he cannot be a minister he cannot be a member of parliament he should never what what are you guys thinking he should never have been a minister no one that's always walking around cashing flies and talking about perfection should be a minister okay there are things happening in barbados that need to be addressed okay a lot of serious stuff happening in barbados and you cannot you cannot put the brutal bobs in charge of a, a checkbook, a checkbook, and, and giving them power and telling people, well, they need to work. The criminal, the ex-cons need to work. The recidivists, when they get out, they need to work. Nah, man. Nah, man. Nah, that's not the way it works. And if you're doing that, they need to be supervised by people who don't have a criminal background. So who who are the people without criminal backgrounds who are, you know, checking, you know, checks and balances. I always talk about that, checks and balances. Who are the people who do not have a criminal background who are checking and balancing what this peace program um, section of your community that is filled with criminals, a lot of brutal bobs types. Brutal bob, you love brutal bob, right? Yeah, so he has the worst or the worst. He has the like, people who kill and people who are an SA and, and, and rob and burglarize. He has the worst of the worst, giving them power. And he is in, he, Corlin, is in your paper. Condemning citizens? Condemning citizens? When he hangs out with recidivists and criminals, he's, he's condemning the good citizens of Barbados. So they're not criminal enough. They're not recidivistic enough. They're not, they're not correct criminals enough. So that he could get into your paper and condemn citizens, the good good people of Barbados, good people of Barbados, when he's hiring criminals to run things, tell Corey Lane where to go. Okay, tell Corey Lane where to go. This is Sherry Veronica. Help me spread the word about Naked Departure via social media. Subscribe and share to show support and love for our channels.